Hey, this is Red Band coming to you live from Better Box Studios for another episode of Kill Tony. Here's Tony Hinchcliffe. And here's Brian Red Band. Happy Hello. birthday, birthday hey, boy. Thank you. It's a beautiful day. Beautiful June 8th. Happy birthday to Kanye West as well. Me and Kanye. What were we doing last year? I remember we were somewhere on the road. Oh, yeah. I'm always on the road for my birthday, except for this one. And we were in, oh, we were in Omaha, Nebraska. That's right. We had the, some of the best pizza, pizza that ever. night. That's and it was right. an early show. We were outside with the sun out on the big strip there in Omaha. That yeah. was a fun night. We had a fun night. Yeah, that's great. Um, but it's good to be home. Beautiful Los Angeles, California. Um, here at Better Box Studios, which has been unbelievably gracious to us, the great Gino of Speedweed Enterprises has um, taken us under his wing and let us uh, coop up here during the entire quarantine, and uh, we love Better Box. They're helping us out big time, and uh, they have a candle company, the Damn Good Candle Company. A lot of people are buying the new Hinch Me I'm Dreaming candle, the eucalyptus spa-like scent, which I love. You like eucalyptus? I sure do. That's my stuff, man. I have that. Uh, I have this stuff called what's it? Osage rub. Am I saying that right, Ryan? Osage. 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 Yeah, that sounds better. But it's the stuff like the barber uses. They put it on like the I towel know. that they, whatever. Yeah. I just bought it straight from my barber. Like I'm gonna buy some of that. Yeah. So I do. I'll run a hot shower, squirt some of that in there. But now I don't even have to do that because I have the new Hinch Me I'm Dreaming candle. You can get it at damngoodco.com. Do you have your own candle like right on your, your uh, oh, table? I'm everywhere. I have, <laughs> I have boxes. They're stacked. I, I burn. It, my place looks like a goddamn sacrifice is happening. That's I have so is. many Hinch Me I'm Dreaming candles. You would think I'm going to sacrifice a baby. Ryan J. E. Belt is here Speaking drawing tonight's babies. episode. Speaking right. of big Harry Babies, the great Ryan J. Ebelt joining us. Um, very exciting stuff. And uh, we're going on the road soon. At the end of July, we're going to Miami, the 31st of July and August 1st. There's uh, Kill Tony's on the 31st, and a lot of these are stand-up shows too, and Kill Tony's. Like Boston, August 13th. Houston, August 20th. Dallas, the 27th of August. Fort Worth, 28th and 29th. Salt Lake City, 9-11. Moon Tower, September 17th, Toronto, the 29th of September, and Bakersfield, Sacramento, and San Francisco, Kill Tony Mania Week, October 13th through the 18th. And D.C. we're going back to in November. I just, and, I just realized this is the first year in like three years that I'm not going to be spending my birthday in Indiana. <laughs> oh, yeah? When's your birthday again? <laughs> August 4th. Remember, it's always when yeah. you're at that yeah. festival. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Fort yeah. Worth. Never again for <laughs> Fort Worth. Fun stuff happening. You know, wherever we go, no matter where in the country, you know, the one of my favorite things is uh, getting through security at the airport easily. And I do that super easily with my Ridge wallet. Mm. They make it everything concise. It's everything's in one little sleek thing. I used to have this big chunky wallet. Sometimes I'd forget that it's there or sometimes it's just obnoxious and stuff falls out of it. But the Ridge wallet, everything stays all together, and it's uh, super awesome. The entire Kill Tony crew uses the Ridge Wallet. I have a sleek titanium one. Yeah, they're really nice. Uh, mm -hmm. They came to one of our shows, remember, when we gave away $1,000. Yeah. Yeah. It's also great because it really makes you like go through your wallet and go, how much unnecessary stuff do I have in my wallet? And it's, you know, it's really thin. It has these two metal plates. has, like, an elastic band around it. It's real great. I now keep my wallet in my front pocket, and I'm not sitting on my wallet. It, that's, like, if you're sitting down all the time or you're, like, taking, like, road trips or you have a long, you know, car ride to work, you're sitting on that wallet. It kills your back. It, it hurts your back, and you could really do some damage. So I love the, the Ridge wallet. I, I will never go back to a normal wallet, I don't think. Neither will I, and you're going to love it, too. There's a lifetime warranty so it'll always be there for you and free returns if you don't like it that's how much they guarantee that you're going to love the ridge wallet absolute free returns money back get 10 percent off today with free worldwide shipping and returns by going to ridge.com slash kill tony that's ridge.com slash kill tony and use the code kill tony link in description and you get 10 percent off ridge, ridge wallet ridge wallet the only wallet that matters. Uh, and uh, if you're looking for a way to have some fun while at home, the lights are always on at my bookie. 
to keep you entertained, they're hooking you up with all your favorite games. Blackjack, roulette, war, video poker, slots. All while everyone else is freaking out, losing their minds, you can have fun at the casino straight from home. The excitement never stops with my bookie. If you got the itch, you can scratch it with my bookie's live casino dealers online. That's right. They have actual dealers just waiting for you to log on to their site 24-7. These guys do not mess around. Yeah, and it's cool because you don't even have to bet on, like, sports or anything. You could bet on politics. And right now, that would be interesting to bet on politics because it's out of control right now. Mm -hmm. If you're really bored, you could bet on the weather. They offer something for everyone. And as always, when you win, you get paid quick. Put your skills to the test with the huge blackjack and slots tournaments with insane prize pools. In fact, if you're stuck at home right now, they've got a $10,000 blackjack tournament for you to sink your teeth into it's free to enter and it pays cash if you win it's free and it pays cash that's, that's where ridiculous. i play that's yeah. where you play yeah. and that's where you guys should play too you got the hookup to do the smart thing go to mybookie.ag and they'll double your first deposit that is double use the promo code kill tony to activate the offer that's promo code kill tony at mybookie.ag you spin you win you get paid Shout out to Caveman Coffee. Use oh. the promo code Kill Tony over there. Have you tried their new tea? They I, sent us that new tea. It's unbelievable. It's great. It's unbelievable. The hibiscus tea. Yeah. It's mind boggling. It's just, I love it. It's, it's so really refreshing. Good. It's my one of my new favorite things during mm -hmm. this. Uh, the heat's picking up here in LA, and I uh, poured over a nice glass of ice. It is delicious. Hey, you know what you could do, people? If you listen to uh, Kill Tony on different things, why don't you check us out over on Spotify? Make sure you subscribe to us over there because a lot of fun things are happening over there nowadays, and a lot of people are getting Spotify Premium, and they're looking at, uh, at who's coming over from where. So check out Kill Tony. Subscribe there. And while I'm pitching you subscribing to things, Head over to YouTube. We are almost at 100,000 subscribers, even if you don't even have a YouTube account like me. Like, I don't even I don't even yeah. really log in. Oh, man. Yeah. I watch more YouTube than anything now. Like, any TV shows. I, I spend probably two hours on YouTube shows every week. I, I found that. this one where it's just people that go underwater and dive and look for mm -hmm. treasures. They found, like, these cars. So they take the cars out of the water, found a body in there, and it's, like, found out it was this kid that was driving home drunk once and they've been looking for him for years hmm. it's so interesting yeah. you ever watch jim can't swim no what's that that's a crime show that i was introduced to by the great gage tiarina um yeah. in which uh they show you the um interrogations of people and they break them down it's okay, all yeah. about criminal psychology and uh it's really fucking awesome it, it, it shows you exactly how they uh, trick people into um, giving up information, even though they could walk away at any point, and even if they already asked for their attorney, there's ways to uh, to do that, and mm. there's things that they use, and even on the stand and court cases, it's like it's like uh, forensic files, but it's like uh, it's like a forensic files is pro wrestling. Jim Can't Swim is UFC. It's like real and serious and intense. Very exciting. You can submit to Kill Tony. You can, uh, this is it. I mean, we're coming down the straightaway now. My guess is uh, we're going to be back at the Comedy Store soon. So if you're global and you can't make it to LA, this is some of your last chances to submit to the show. KillTonyQuarantine at gmail.com. Make sure you keep an eye on your email because you can get a response. And if you don't respond quickly, they're just going to skip over you because there's so many people submitting. Um, so kill Tony quarantine at gmail.com. Get on some of these, uh, final episodes. All right. So there we go. You guys ready to start this thing? Okay. <laughs> Exciting. That's right. I forgot. There's no, I still, I was like waiting for it too. And I was like, even yeah. after months, I was at least expecting somebody to be like, yeah, or something. Oh yeah. David Lucas. Yeah. Uh, so let's start with that. We have a, we have a guest tonight, just like we did last week, a very special guest. One of the regulars from this show, one of the great roasters of all time in Kill Tony history, ladies and gentlemen, David Lucas joining What's up, us. What's up, y'all? What's up, man? Hi, David. Good to have you back again. Hey, man. Appreciate y'all for having me, bro. I get to give some time away. I love it. We're going to have some fun tonight. We're going to meet some people from around the world. And uh, there's also a band on this show. Every single episode, they commit to being different characters. We never know what they're going to be. It's always exciting to find out. They stay in character throughout every episode, and uh, let's see what happens here. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the best damn band in the land, the Kill Tony Band, Jeremiah Watkins, Joel Berg, Joel Jimenez, and Jetski Jesse Johnson.
Oh my god, Dad's at a barbecue? I never would have known if it wasn't for that song. <laughs> Hello, guys. How are you, guys and girl? Or guys? Uh, that is a man, Tony. Oh, wow. Hello. Yeah. You can tell by the that leg is my, hair. That's my friend at 30 years. That's a man. Do you see that, that leg hair? That, wow. It's coming in thick. That's right. Wow. They I just realized look- how many J's there are in all your guys' names. I should have realized this months ago. Joel Berg, Joel Jimenez is three J's. Jetski Jesse Johnson Whoa. is three three J's, and <laughs> Jeremiah Jabroni. Chewy, <laughs> Chewy Watkins. Jeremiah Jabroni. Chewy Jabroni Jeremiah is here. I just want to say happy birthday, Tony. Hey, thank you. What's your name, uh, Dad at a barbecue? My name is Dwayne Wilcox, Tony. Dwayne. Dwayne Wilcox. Dwayne, interesting name. Yeah. You seem like the kind of guy that would call the police on a guy named Dwayne. Oh, I got my phone right here. Oh, there you go. And uh, what's your name, uh, Mr. Uh, Harry Legs over there? Oh, you could call me Gary. Okay. That's my name. Uh, and I don't know about you guys, but I could eat. <laughs> I bet you can, Gary. And uh, what's your name there? Look at you with the thick stash. Hey, the name's Phil Dempsey, but you can call me Chef. <laughs> He's always got the best jokes. I will right. spit on my beer. <laughs> so funny. We got the chef, Phil Dempsey, Dwayne Wilcox, and Gary. So let's just jump right into the show. Everything's in place. Ryan J., David Lucas, the whole band. We got Charlie from Vito's Pizza here Woo-hoo. keeping us filled up. Best pizza in L.A., Vito's Pizza. Locations all around Southern California. So uh, check it. Did you guys see that fucking, uh, did we talk about this last week? The goddamn fast food thing that came out that said we're each state's favorite yeah, fa- what, what the, the they're trolling everybody they right they have to be trolling because the, the what's place melties Ohio, melties yeah what's melties i don't know i've never even heard of and that and they said denny's the one california no one goes to denny's in california infuriate no. i love denny's I'm pretty i go sure, there all the time i'm pretty sure that's like a cia uh yeah like it's an experiment to see there was something else like it was like boston where they had something like a uh, boston market and oh, it's like yeah. like no it would be obviously dunkin donuts it's on every single <laughs> Right. corner all right let's all right. jump into the show your first submission who knows where it's coming from these are uh, these are these have been fun in a way episodes these quarantine episodes um they are definitely different than having hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people that want to be there on a monday at 8 p.m excited to the gills full energy out uh but here we are you know what i mean nine ultra talented egos all slammed into a 30 by 30 foot room uh and uh, let's see what happens here we're gonna get it started with jesse curtis everyone here we go hey here's jesse curtis hey i'm jesse damn glad to meet you <laughs> let's jump right into the first guest one miss piggy what is it like being the Trina of the Muppets? Excuse me, That's right, because you're the baddest bitch. Oh, shit, I hear a bad bitch right now. Is that Issa Rae dropping bars in the mirror? Broken pussy. Speaking of broke pussy, that leads us right on into welcoming Peggy Bundy. Oh, ow. Cool. So, we're gonna hop on over to the after party and the afterlife. Holy hell, is that Bill Shakespeare over there? I can't see real good. Oh, now it looks like Farley and Gilda. It's always something. If it ain't one thing, it's another. Amen. We're gonna end this up with a POTUS party phone call. China. That's all, folks. Go on, get. <laughs> Fuck yeah, Jesse Curtis. Absolutely. Hi, Jesse. How are you? Goodness gracious. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. Indeed. Good to see you. Where are you calling in from? Virginia Beach, Virginia. Ooh, Virginia Beach. Heck yeah. That's a very uh that's a that's a very white place, right? It's popping. I mean, we got we got things going on. <laughs> you said it like you were she angry said, about that. She said, eh, like, the, no matter how many black people are there, it's too many. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? 
said, how dare you? No. I mean, I think we got a good, like, melting pot here. I love that. Absolutely. She likes black guys, Tony. You said, she made that Trina reference. Mm. Oh, that is The baddest true. bitch. She, she did have a Trina guys. reference. And she has a lot of uh, black guys' favorite white girl, Miss Piggy, in the background. <laughs> <laughs> hey. uh, what do you do, Jesse? What do you do for work? Fox News analyst, Hi. press secretary for the White House. What is it? Live. That's just in. Um, I worked in e-commerce for, I went for, to school for fashion, but ended up in e-commerce for 10 years. And I'm a big fan, so I know you're going to be like, what's interesting about you? Or it's a cool fact. The first four years in e-commerce, I ran two web stores for Pusha T's brand Plate Clothes and then T.I.'s brand Aku. So, I've, and I, I think that you had Pusha T on one of your things for your, uh... What did you your, do exactly for Pusha T? Um, I ran his, the web store. Like, so, I mean, 10 years ago, e-commerce isn't what it is now. So, it's in the very beginning of everything. But I'd interned for the companies before and then kind of just fell into it. Wow. So, did, did you get to talk to Pusha T directly at all? I mean, I've met him several times. Oh, cool. Like, him... And, Pharrell like put on has put on a big music festival last year here and it got canceled this year obviously with everything that's going on but um he was really cool I met Ti a couple of times any of these guys try to bang you nobody tried to bang me no no Pusha T saw you and he was like yeah 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 I'm really off putting. That made 1% of the Kill Tony audience laugh. Yeah. My Pusha yeah. T that loved was, I, it. I I'm love, honestly really dad, into the rap music. Did dads at a barbecue get it at all? I almost I called the cops on the reference. <laughs> did you yeah. uh, Did you get into e-commerce after you left the Devil's Rejects? or? Hey, you do look like Cheryl hey. Noon Zombie. That's a compliment. Thank you. Indeed. You single, uh, Jesse? I have a boyfriend. Oh, okay. Did he paint that yellow, uh, beautiful piece of artwork above your... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of course, Brian <laughs> thinks the yellow artwork is beautiful. That was uh, drawn by... Ar that's a picture to him. Is he Let's black or it. white? I want to know. He's white. He's white. Are oh, you kidding shit. me? <laughs> Get the hell out of here. You think she's hooking up with a black guy? Yeah, she said Trina. I thought she loved it. She has a police badge on her shirt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wait, wait, I can't do the right side. She this doesn't... is given. So oh, now I work for a tactical company, and I went to the shot show in Las Vegas this, this year. This is the last time I traveled. And a woman cop from y'all's area gave oh. me this from just shooting the shit with her, and she just gave me it. was cut off of a shirt, and she's wow. a police officer there, so it was kind of cool. That was uh, that was east of uh, Vine Street, right? You stayed around the Silver Lake area, Los Feliz. No, a shot show is in Vegas. Oh, all right. I I lost track of that story. What is up with the yellow piece of art on the wall? Why is it just yellow? Is that an R. Kelly original? So. <laughs> Great piss on it. Um, it looks no, like a... it has texture to it, but you have to get like an, an angle because I did. But there's an X and different patterns on it and different textures that you can't cool. see. Cool. So you draw, you draw, that's all your art behind you? Yes. All the ladies. Cool. Yeah. I love that. I'm a big fan of Gilda Radner. Crazy. Same. Wild, wild stories, that one. I can't remember where I saw that good Gilda documentary. But man, it she used on, to. I think yeah. it was on Hulu. Yeah, I think it is Hulu, actually. I almost said yeah, that, but so... So few great things are on Hulu. I didn't want to get it wrong. But yeah, that's one of the things. That's one of Hulu's three or four amazing things. I love Hulu. And by the way, you can use coupon code Kill Tony uh, and get three months. Is that true? I forget what it was. Hulu never sponsored are you sure? us. I think yeah, it was. for sure. I would remember that. For sure. Hulu. Yeah, I'll be uh, I'll be there to pick up a soccer practice real quick. All right. See you later. Finally, a joke. He kills me. All right, zaddies, calm down. Whoa, she called me daddy. <laughs> oh, look out. I love it. So what else, Jesse? What else is interesting about you? Mm. You ever do stand-up? Um, no, I've never done anything. I did like a really... So I 
in the beginning of you guys doing the quarantine stuff, I like tried to do my jokes and I sent it to a friend who was like, it's kind of depressing. And then you literally said like, don't be depressing and like on, not well lit and nobody wants to be bummed out and have fun. So then that's why I basically just roasted all my own paintings. Yeah. And had fun with it. And then that's exactly me is all of this. So that's great. You, you, yeah, you did. You did something. Absolutely. That's it's better than. Yeah, absolutely. It's yeah. I, 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 I like it. I um, saw SNL. I did like the whole wait outside outline uh, in on the street or whatever and saw Emily Blunt and Bruno Mars. And I saw like Alex Baldwin doing Trump and it was wow. really sick. Like wow. goosebumps and everything, yeah. Wow, that's wild. Yeah. That is wild. You know, a little fun fact about uh, about Alec Baldwin's Trump that I don't think I ever mentioned on this show. Maybe I did, but I actually worked with Alec Baldwin on a, um, we'll say, a secret uh, project for a private gig. That's something that I wrote. And um, this was back in, I think, early 2000. 15 or 2016 and super long story short i'm the one that suggested to him trying out a trump impression and we worked on it together over the phone and uh and uh i basically started alec baldwin's trump impression for him wow look at you he I, I wrote him a whole thing to do here. in trump and this was before he ever did it on snl so Fuck yeah just you know, another, uh, you're welcome, Alec Baldwin. Yeah, you and Alec, <laughs> you and you and Alec Baldwin actually have one thing in common: oh, uh, a rude, thoughtless little pig in your living room. Hey, look at that! Hey, hey that was a great. <laughs> All right, Jesse. All right. Great way to start the show. You're a great personality. I loved your. Uh, I loved uh, the creativity that you took in your submission. Thanks for uh, be kicking off the show for us tonight. Thank you so much. I'm a big fan. Love you guys. There she goes. Jesse Curtis. She's on Instagram. At jkurt007. J-C-U-R-T-007. Um, Good programming. And uh, <laughs> we have yet another submission. And we will just get right to it. Your next comedian or submission goes by the name of Dean Reed. Here we go. Dean Reed. Here's Dean Reed. I'm not a baseball fan, but being bored in the quarantine, I broke down my sex game like a pitcher with a sports anchor voice. I just love Dean's fuck game. Here's why. Has the overall package, a nice thick, big dick, and has lots of tricks up his sleeve in order to be that premier starter. Now, he may give up early runs by coming too soon on some occasions, but hey, he's over 40, so that's bound to happen on occasions. Still, he will finally settle in and push through seven to nine stiff innings. This guy has all the tools mixing up his deadly game with finger pop strategies, allow him to get through those tough innings before his dick's hard again, allowing him to finish strong and leave these girls satisfied. He could always be used in closing situations if needed. Now, eating pussy is above average, but if I had to choose a weakness, I'd have to say that would be it. Still, a high motor guy, steady foreplay, a real intimidator on the mound with his dirty talk and how he goes deep while slapping and choking out these bitches. Look, I've seen him have women gag on his dick while having them tear up and snot running down their nose, and they're happy to do it. He's a very exciting player, and I love to watch this guy when he's out there performing. Just incredible. Here it is, Dean Reed, hello. Dean Reed, hello. Yo, Tony Crew, what's going on, man? Everything's good, man. What's shaking? Your artwork is the opposite of the white girls. You have black art, and she had uh, white and yellow art. <laughs> it is what it is. Black lives matter. I <laughs> Definitely, absolutely. That's why we have David Lucas black here. That's the only reason matter. why. <laughs> Bro, yes, sir. Go this ahead. guy looks like me at 42 and 190 pounds. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. I <laughs> like, can see this that. Is this is your like, future. This right. is Lucas David. <laughs> it's about my background to look like that. I love it, Dean. Where are you calling us in from? Orlando, Florida. Oh, look at that. Hmm. Orlando, the home of oh. Disney World. I guess so. How are things in Orlando? Has there been rioting and looting? 
Honestly, I don't know. I've been hanging out in Palm Coast ever since the quarantine. I was fired from my job, so I'm just out here chilling, man. Where'd you get fired from? Uh, I was a supervisor in a call, uh, customer service call center. Oh, okay. Why'd you get fired? They said it was about the numbers, but maybe I was very irresponsible with the things I did at work. Oh, like what? Like, what'd you do at work? Um... I didn't take it as seriously as I should in the later years. Let me just say that. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. This guy's my hero. I wish I could be like you. <laughs> what kind of call you... center? What kind of call center, uh, David Lucas wants to know? Is customer service for one of the tolling programs in Florida. Oh, okay. Sun Pass? No All comment, right. bro. <laughs> 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 I love uh, your commentary for your uh, sexual actions uh, that you do. You in the bedroom. Um, what's your favorite? Uh, what's your favorite type of uh, of girl to uh, hook up with? What does she look like to you? Uh, I, I fuck with the Latino and the black girls. Oh, the Latinos and the black girls. Standing ovation from Chef Phil Dempsey. Hello, there's a race riot down here on Sunset <laughs> Boulevard going on. Okay. You have a preference between the Latinas and uh, the black women? Honestly, man, I just like fine women, so it really doesn't matter, and whatever I could get. The good I thing get. is you don't have to choose. There's black Latinas. <laughs> well, where true. he's calling from, they're mostly Puerto Rican, right? So you have a lot of like Orlando, Cuban, hot-headed ladies, a lot of Cuban, fights. Cuban, Puerto Rican, Dominican, black, white. You got it all in Orlando. As long as they keep a knife in their purse. One time, my <laughs> wife got really hot-headed. I forgot the Netflix password. Ooh, you do not want to see her around the household. You can't do that. <laughs> what's the, uh, well, what's, how many white women do you think you've been with, if you had to guess? Two. I'm talking to uh, oh, Dean Reed. Probably what? four. Four. <laughs> Maybe four. It's been what? like 15, 20 years since I've been with one of them. What's your least favorite thing about white women? I asked you what your favorite was. <laughs> you said uh, Latina and black women first. Uh, what is it about the white women that... Uh... How they hide their money at their house. <laughs> he can't find it. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Only you could I mean... make that joke, David Lucas. To <laughs> <laughs> be honest, I really don't discriminate. I just, if I had to choose one, nobody. And I just don't relate to them. Oh, okay. Uh, you said that uh, your dirty talk is good in the bedroom. Can you give us an example of uh, what some of that dirty talk sounds like? Can you just lose yourself in the moment? You won't it? Well, you better never let it go? Be before I get on my m and I do have to say it was just a premise, but, you know, I do like to, you know, get into their heads. Be kind of in the moment. You like this dick, don't you? Yes. Go ahead. Keep fucking till you come, all that kind of shit. Wow, mm. look at that. That's pretty good. <laughs> I use up from Chef Phil. I use, I use the Gatorade slogan sometime. I'm like, is it in you? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. Dwayne Wilcox. <laughs> well, I am from Gainesville, and I grew up in the neighborhood with the inventor of Gatorade. So I guess it's in my blood, bro. There yeah, it is. And my oh. house, my wife actually talks dirty to me. She <laughs> says, clean up your goddamn mess, Gary. <laughs> I love it. I love it, man. Brum. So yeah, brum brum. Dean, what do you do for fun? What are some fun facts about Dean Reed? I mean, to be honest with you, man, I'm, I'm kind of just boring. I like to talk shit, drink, I fish. I like to observe people and just um, I'm kind of in the moment, man, with my actual people that I hang out with. I'm funny, but if I don't know you, I'm kind of like a introverted extrovert. So I'm just one of those people. Nothing. Crazy. Have you ever been locked up? Locked never. Up. Oh, really? Been in handcuffs before, but I never made it to the jail, bro. On oh, International Drive? <laughs> Definitely not there. Uh-uh. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think he's saying he's a magician. He got out of the cuffs. He escaped. It's great. I love it. Love me some David Copperfield. What are you doing next Ever? Friday? I'd love to have you at the next barbecue. <laughs> These cops are wild out there. I will tell you. I got uh, I got pulled over the other day. I got two warnings. You get pulled over a lot, I've noticed. It happens. <laughs> Never it been happens. shot once. They tell me that I'm going over the speed limit, and then I question them. This is this is what we call. This is what a lot of people would call white privilege. <laughs> Absolutely. I, 
I'll say speeding and they'll go, yeah, speed is what I got you for. I go, what'd you get me for? And they'll go like, uh, you know, they'll be like 48 and a 35. And I go, yeah, you 40, 48. You got that on a radar. That's what I'll say. And I'll go up with my voice like that. You got, you got that on a radar. And then and they'll go, and like this guy the other day, he was literally like, well, I, I, uh, I didn't get you on my radar exactly, but I was pacing you out. I have my own system. I've been doing this a long time. I go, all right, I trust your system, but 48, sheesh. I mean, my speedometer here is pretty big. It's a pretty big monitor I got there on my lovely car. But, Tony, happy birthday. As long as you didn't put the hands on the back of your trunk and ask where you're going, where you're coming <laughs> from, and all that other bullshit, then just take the warnings and uh, use that white privilege. Yeah, you're, That's true. you're fucked when they touch your trunk. That's true. I put my hands on my trunk like I'm doing the Macarena like that. When you put your hands on your trunk, your pants end up down, Tony. <laughs> I don't think Tony heard me. What'd you say? What, what, what? I said when you put your hands on your trunk, your pants end up down. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Dildos and looty holes over there. Yeah. Gay Macarena. <laughs> Tony blew out a latex cake for his birthday. That's true. I actually did. I had a cake made of latex and I blew it out. But when I say blew it, I mean like, you know, not. Yeah, exactly. Red Band's got it. The act out. The act out machine, Brian Red Band. Um, Dean, so much. <laughs> <laughs> so much fun great talk dean thank you so much for submitting fun times dude thanks for your creativity i don't know what he just said i missed that but i love you dean i'll figure it out God i'll figure it. it out when i watch it back just keep playing ladies and gentlemen it's time for william montgomery <laughs> Lights out, William Montgomery, the big red machine. Here he is. Hi, William. How's it going, y'all? I'm pretty juiced tonight. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's, it's my ring toe now, juice.com. Uh... <laughs> um... You've been oh, waiting wow. to see uh, if there was a delay or something like that. There's no delay, William. Just keep is going. That reverb? Uh, Ryan Gosling is married to Eva Mendez, which almost, which is almost as surprising as finding out Danny DeVito is married to Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, say what you will about Scientologists, but goddamn, can they act best damn actors in all the pyramid scheme religion industry? I'm not joining. I'm a Christian. Boy, I screwed up this time. I wanted to start a GoFundMe for the guy that got killed in Minneapolis, but I got the names mixed up. So if you want to donate money to the Criminal Defense Fund, link is in the bio. <laughs> Can I say my last two jokes? Anybody want to guess that that was too long of a stinger? Does anybody, <laughs> anybody want to take a wild? Yeah. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I will. It yeah. was. <laughs> yes, William, you could do your last joke. Oh, yes. Go ahead, William. Hey, Red Van, I bought a book recently called The Bible. Maybe you should look into it. <laughs> oh! And my hey. actual last one. always funny it's funnier the and second then, uh, time and then finally uh why didn't la gear get a bailout how many more fucking jokes do you have william yeah and, and, and like you just told me to go look up the bible that's is that a joke what do you fucking think it is red band i think you need to paint some black stripes over you garfield whoa i think you need to start kissing black girls because we all know you have Whoa, that's true, actually. Isn't it is it? true. Whoa. You went on camera, man. We've seen you in Anaconda. Wow, you were in Anaconda? I was. I remember A lot of people that. didn't know that I was the You were snake. the redheaded guy that choked on the wasp in the, in the tank. How was that movie? 
uh, read me in. Was it fun? We all read. It was fun. Jesus, you're wasted tonight, aren't you? <laughs> William, a lot eyes. of people have been talking about uh, about perhaps you have uh, begun a drinking problem once again, that you start drinking early in the day, that meanwhile, you know, even though you're still very talented, you're able to keep it together and do great performances, um, people are saying that they are concerned for your health. He just drank. Who's saying that? R. L. Stein? Um, your your peers, your family, and your doctors are saying that. Richard Pierce? <laughs> yeah. I had sex with his daughter, raw oh. dog. Um, Put my penis in her bottom. She had preparation H on her hole. Yeah, I was doing that. I'm a Christian. We're going to check in with Gary. Uh, Dwayne Wilcox over here. Uh, honest question, William. Oh, yes. Um now, is it the lighting uh, right now, or do you have jaundice? Yeah, I was about to say, it's my jaundice. Oh, it's jaundice. <laughs> I'm starting to get concerned when you say, can I do my last joke? Because I feel like it could be your last joke. <laughs> do you want to quit fucking saying that? Do you want to quit fucking everything, maybe? This is an intervention. William, let's check in with the, uh, with the red spot on your chest. Is that doing any better, or is it worse? Let's do our... Uh... Totally weekly let, update can here. we check in with my nephew he has a yes. joke for y'all yes absolutely are you gonna put the camera on him what's up go. hello you ready for the joke i don't know yes <laughs> okay say it faster you've already messed us up no yes. this was yes, he has. Be hilarious. there was a series of murders involving a picnic basket so the police had to reopen the basket case. Hilarious. Hilarious. Well, Have y'all ever heard such like a that. thing? Yeah, on Laffy Taffy. Laffy Taffy? What are you talking about? D4L? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Is that David Lucas? That's a black joke for real. Yeah, up, we allowed David Hey, David, Luke where are you, man? I'm He's actually streaming from the bathroom. <laughs> Luckily for that, he has yellow fever. Oh. Hey, Will, don't let that motherfucker tell another joke, dog. William, what have you been? Uh, what have hey, you been man, doing? Kind of mean. That motherfucker tell popsicle jokes, nigga. <laughs> I, I just made that up earlier. Today. It's my fucking nephew. Uh, man, get your We're broke Bill, not a science guy, looking ass up out of here. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, that's really <laughs> William. Uh, my God, what, I thought. What, that, what have you been doing to stay healthy as of late during the um, during this quarantine and riots and whatnot? A lot of, a lot of bananas, a lot of potassium, a lot of oranges, a lot of vitamin C, a lot of apples, a lot of vitamin A. You're a fruitarian. Curtarian, yes. That's my uncle, Richard Curtarian. <laughs> no. No, not Curtarian. That is a lover of croutons. You are a a fruitarian, a man who only eats the fruits. My name is Michael Fruitarian. I uh, am happy to meet you all tonight. Uh, I greatly apologize for being sort of the first person you all are going to see at, a, at an all-you-can-eat buffet, but Trust me, this place is safe. Okay. Okay, Michael Fruitarian. Are you Armenian? Uh, you could say that in the in the ankles and the penis. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm probably going to get a text from your parents after this appearance here tonight. Tony, don't, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, don't say that. No, I won't. I won't say it again. Thank you so much. Are you about to cry? What's going on over there? <laughs> you this can say that. Bro, you got to leave that liquor alone, bro. You looking like Michael Jordan from his documentary in the eyes. <laughs> yeah, you look like Michael Jordan's eyeballs. <laughs> right, hey, David, work on the delivery. I don't get it. Hey, William, work on yourself. <laughs> All right. Okay, Joe there goes Hunter. William Montgomery, yeah, everybody. We we love you, William. We love you. Good stuff. Right. William Montgomery. William dot F dot Montgomery one. Your next comedian goes by the name of Ellie Rosinski. Here's Ellie Rosinski.
is Ellie Rosie. Hey, so I have a minute, which is still longer than I can last in bed. Not easy for my girlfriend, if you ask her. I've tried telling her it's quite normal for guys to finish off that quickly, because I know she hasn't been with a lot of men before me. But of course, she talked to her friends and she found out it's bullshit. So I tried using condoms, even though she's protected like a tank inside. It's a slippery option and it might have lasted longer, but she didn't feel much while it happened. So my last attempt at being good in the sack was aborting the launch right before takeoff. Just like that crude dragon did last week, but half the time my rocket still goes on one. And as sad as it sounds, I'm sure that if she was willing to have sex more than once a week, I'd probably last longer. Oh, very good. Ellie Rosinski. Hi, Ellie. How are you? Hey, guys. I'm very well. Where are you at right now? I'm in Warsaw. Warsaw, Poland, huh? Yes. It's Is that actually any... 5... 40 a.m. Oh, okay. Well, thanks for joining us. How far is how far are you from uh, Olinsk? Olinsk? Ol uh, pretty far, if I believe that's what I think it is. Right, where Joanna Janjacek is. You know who Joanna Janjacek? Uh, no, Jacek? I think oh. you're. I think you don't say it properly. I'm not. Olinsk. Oh, it begins with an O. Uh, it's in your Olsten. country. What is it? Yeah, it's Olsten. 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 Yeah, they say Austin. letters yeah. mean letters are totally different sounds out oh, there. Oh, Austin. <laughs> Pretty close. Yeah, Austin. <laughs> it looks like Austin, yeah, it's but with an Austin. L. Uh huh. <laughs> exactly. what, what do you do there in Warsaw? I'm a musician. Oh, cool. What kind of music do you play? George Michael cover band. <laughs> <laughs> Justin Bieber tribute band. Yeah, we even got the here. earring gum. <laughs> you no, do I play uh, like indie pop. Indie okay. pop electronic. Oh, okay. Yep, that sounds about right. Polish music. That's pretty much Polish. <laughs> it's Play nothing to do with Polish. I'm actually <laughs> French. Your stash is going crazy over there. You may have uh, the barbecue. You're too much standing over the grill. Oh, Gary. that's crazy. This is a real mustache. So that's we're going to get you some Jess for men. And you're going to be fine. Gary said you play the computer. Is that right? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, well, i got to play the drums. Oh, okay, cool. Where are you staying at? What haunted house are you staying at right now? <laughs> it's actually my studio because my girlfriend is right next door. And she's sleeping and she complains so I had to move a bit further. Okay, play us something. Play us, play us some Polish uh, music. Do you have anything handy there in your studio? You have your laptop handy? No, I got like, um, I got the guitar. I'm pretty sure I'm going to piss her off if I do that. You, just give her a vibrator. She'll this chip her teeth. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, bro. Oh, no, Polish, Polish vibrator <laughs> joke. But this, I'm not even Polish. I'm French. I just live in Poland. Classic, <laughs> classic <laughs> Polish jokes. <laughs> yeah, it's gotta be dirty. It's gotta be Polish. It's gotta be dirty, man. Oh, uh, that's true. Like a Polish firing squad where they all stand in a circle. That's true. Or, the, or how you, uh, what's the one? You get a Polish girl pregnant, right? You know how to do that, right? Yeah. No, you you come in a shoe and you let the flies do the rest. Oh. <laughs> you let the flies let some do the weird rest. <laughs> what? That What'd doesn't you say? sound like my country. I said I wish I knew some Polish jokes. Like, Yeah. You can just write them. They're super easy. So Polish bitches are dirty? Yeah. Like well, they're dirty and stupid is what they say. Oh, shit. <laughs> but this, that's That's the American stereotype. Yeah. Clearly, I don't know if you've watched the news at all in the past few weeks, but we're a little bit racist here. <laughs> how do you get a one, how do you get a yeah, but... one arm Polak out of a tree? You, uh, you wave to him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is great. Yeah, they knew it in the This is the three movie. months into quarantine. We're just doing <laughs> Polish jokes right off the internet. I'm going to use that at my next barbecue. <laughs> Good. You have any Polish jokes? The, the, the dads should have Polish jokes. This is a white dad barbecue thing. 
Uh, I'm just admiring uh, Red Band's knowledge of the, the the Polish jokes. He knows all of them. Okay, Give us well, another one. Okay. Uh, <laughs> right you, off the top of his head. Did you hear about the latest Polish invention? What was it? The flashlight. Yeah? It's solar powered. Nah, nigga. Oh. Okay. You got to explain. Who wrote that, William? <laughs> all right. Play us, something, play us something on the guitar. I'm sorry to uh, insult your entire ethnicity and home country. Well, he said he's actually French. Yeah. Oh, you're French? Yeah, I'm French and I'm a drummer. <gasps> so it's like nothing to do with <laughs> the guitar and Polish. How'd you end up in Warsaw? <laughs> Because my family's Polish, and it's easier to make a music career here. Oh, okay. How's your career going? So, Good. That... Yeah, it's yeah. doing well, man. It's doing well. We got like a video. It's got like a, almost two million hits. I love and, it. What, uh, what's the name of your video that people should check out? Uh, it's called Oxygen, and the, uh, the band is Be My. Be Mine. B E M Y. B. E M Y, be my. Yeah, it's, it's a shitty name. No one can pronounce it. I love it. Play us a song. Here's Ellie Rosinski on the guitar, trying to not wake up his girlfriend, and also playing for the masses around the world right now. Okay, it's gonna be a Polish blues, yeah. Here we go, Polish blues, or as we call them, whites. <laughs> <laughs> Wziął mnie ojciec, wziął mnie ojciec i tak do mnie żył. Uuu, kiedy w stronę to nie czuję, jak mi to wydowy doma wiej. You can have part, pizza in the morning, you can have pizza anytime. Yeah. When, When pizza's on a bagel, you can have pizza anytime. It's fucking Polish. That's right. I Is love it? your music. I love that. That's what plays in the lobby at the uh, hostel hotel before they murder <laughs> you. <laughs> that shit made me want to buy a Fiat. <laughs> it seems like you guys just got <laughs> Little Richard in Poland. <laughs> That's Here we are. Sixties American yeah. rock and roll. Here's some Suck Polish it. Polish blues. Yeah. Good golly, Miss Polish. Yeah, <laughs> A wop ball and we the bop there, boo. Fruity tootie. Oh, <laughs> Fruity tootie. Fun fact, Lil' uh, Rich is from Macon. What? Lil' Rich is from Macon, the city I grew up in. Oh, wow. Yeah. Look at that. Uh, you have any more Polish You're from jokes Bacon? for us? Right? Well, you know, why, you know why Jesus wasn't born in France? Oh, why? God. Because he couldn't, they couldn't find three wise men or a virgin. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> take, take. Take that. Is it good? Is it interesting? <laughs> wow. How do you have so many hits on your music video? I explain to us. Are you are you popular in Poland? Like, were you on some show? How does that happen? We signed we signed with a label, but we got to um, support Ed Sheeran. Oh, uh, cool. Yeah, because like fun story. We we used to live in the UK, and we were his housemates for a bit. Wow, flatmate. So like he took us, he took us under his wing, and like made us play in France and stuff. When your legs don't work like they used to before. <laughs> That's great. You know Ed Sheeran songs? And they can't, he can't you can't sweep you off. Of you. Yeah, I know a little bit of. It. When your legs don't work like they used to. Is this a song about, about diabetes? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Or a paralyzed person. Uh I love it. Well, Ellie, thank you so much for joining us. The band is Be My. Uh, check them out on uh, Vivo I'm or YouTube this, or whatever. Everywhere available. Thank you, guys. Thank And you, happy Ellie. birthday, Tony. Thank love you, Ellie. Man. Fuck yeah. Thank you. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye, my baby. Ellie Rosinski. Here we go. We know this young man. He's been on the show numerous times in the main room of the comedy store. Here is Mario Tanti, everyone. Mario. All right, okay, okay. Okay, here we go. Mario Tanti, everybody. A little bit about me. My name is Mario, and I'm circumcised. But the older I get, the more I wonder if I would have turned out differently if I had my foreskin and the other name my parents were going to pick for me. Because I'm Italian, they pick two names. Like, Sergio with foreskin sounds hot, you know? 
Um, my ex-girlfriend, she has a tattoo. It says, be nice, but she was a fucking bitch. I'm not going to give you an origin story on why she was a fucking bitch, but it rhymes with she was sucking her ex-boyfriend's dick behind my back. Um, I hooked up with a squirter recently. Don't clap. That's just a cooler way of saying a girl pissed in my bed recently. I, uh, I hate when white people compare basic stuff to being like heroin. I've done heroin before and it's nothing like a pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> Some of the people I used to do heroin with, they used to mix it with spit or even toilet water to shoot up. I used to use Fiji water because I'm not a piece of shit. <laughs> My Fuck boy, yeah. his Fuck birthday. Yeah. Absolutely. I really... Okay. Mario Tonti, hello, how are you? Hello, good, how are you guys? Great, good to have you on this show. Uh, Thanks. So uh, let's just jump right into it. You've been on this show a few times. Yeah, uh, this is my fourth time. Awesome. And uh, you're no longer with your girlfriend? <clears throat> no, uh, she's with someone else right now. Oh, wow. That was, I, I, I mean, you guys were both on at the same time before, correct? Uh, wait, what was that? Sorry. Do I have you confused with someone else? Didn't she do stand-up as well? No, no, she, she didn't do stand-up. Oh, okay. Yeah. Bro, I knew she was going to leave you. You got a fucking lamb chops puppet, nigga. Hey, man, that's classic <laughs> shit, dude. How long were you with her for? Uh, she's actually, uh, I don't know if I want to, oh, fuck it. She's actually uh, the girl that's with William. In the show right now. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bro, whoa, my head is about to explode. Wow. Are you fucking serious? Wow. Yeah, I'm serious. This is amazing. So here, here's how here's how I realized it. Okay, like so when when we when we like kind of stopped talking, she had she had some acid. And then if then a couple months later, maybe like a month later, William was in the on doing his set and then in his interview he said, I still remember it. He said, uh, acid, grandparents' house, and Reseda. And I'm like, that's fucking her, dude. Uh, oh, God. Oh, my also, God. Then, so you put it orange. together. Jesus. So you put it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Worth it. Yeah. God. I love it. That's what it's come to. Like, oh, it's Bro, worth then, it. it was worth it. You got him to laugh, so it was worth it. And um, then a couple of months later, you guys called her on the show, and it was her voice. And I was like, oh, that's her. So you literally mad, put it care. together. I, just, I love you, that. No, I love it. I love it. Stick with me. Stick with me. I. So you put this together from watching a William Montgomery set? Like, you did the math in well, your head? To, well, like, okay, so, like, I found out about the show from coming with her, like, back then. So, like, I never stopped coming. I never stopped coming to the show. Like, I've been there every fucking Monday for right. years. Yeah, no, so, I like, remember. Yeah, I, just, I just put it together because I'm not retarded, you know? <laughs> Damn. Wow. This is incredible. Is that the biggest bomb ever dropped on Kill Tony Tony? That's one of the good ones. Well, you have oh, to be. Man, been, you, just like how they describe you, one of the good ones. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I mean, I, I, you have to be happy that you got rid of her, and at least a little bit, because from what we've been hearing, you know, she's yeah, been she's beating up she, him. She's, ter she's terrible. Yeah. My goodness she gracious. Actually, she actually does have a tattoo that says be nice and she's like the worst person. Oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> I mean every every week we see William, he has a new bruise somewhere. Yeah, William's she getting beat up from the feet up. But uh yeah, I was I was hoping to say that in the main room, but I was didn't get never got picked. Bro, you would have <laughs> uh, exploded you, the comedy store. This is great. <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> you blew Gary's mustache right off. <laughs> Wow. Wow. wow! I would have just hoped black people were in there so they could start running around. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know. You know they would have. If, if the band runs around during a quarantine episode, the Apollo 13 would have been in the belly room. Nigga, what? What? <laughs> like that? Like that? 
Like that gif where the guy laughs out of the screen and then it keeps yeah. looping back. Yeah, yeah, bro. They would have yeah. been on La Siena good. <laughs> so, so let me. Uh, yeah, let me ask you this. So, when you confronted her, how did that go down? About what? Wait, were, this? So, so you watched the Williams set. You saw. Oh, I never. That I was... never did. I never did confront her. We did. We stopped talking. Oh, okay. Well, right. she got the message now, I guess, bro. I guess she knows now. Yeah. Hell yeah, she does. Damn. Did you Did you say that she uh, hit you as well? Oh, uh, we got in a fight once because I was looking through her phone because she was being shady and she slapped me. But... Wow. Jesus. Yeah, she oh, was God. Did she, uh, <laughs> did she push your shit down the shower with her foot? That's how you sound. No. All right. That's a, okay. yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. So, you, but how's your love life been uh, since then? You had a girl pee in your bed recently? Uh, oh, wait, that, that, was was long, that was That was recently as in like. Comedy words, you know, that was a long time ago, a couple years Wait, ago. It's just was, old it, joke. was it the girl? Because uh, she peed herself once. No, different, uh, no. different girl, okay. different girl, different, yeah. different girl. Yeah, Red man, we know that. Yeah. 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 Uh, wow. My goodness. So Mario, what have you been doing during through this uh, quarantine? How you been holding up? Uh, it's it's bored as fuck. I'm yeah. pretty much just haven't been going out. Yeah. Did you loot and, anywhere last Saturday? Did you go looting at all? No, I'm not cool enough to loot. No. Has this been a break from your normal work? Because I know you're like you work a lot. Oh yeah, I got really I got hard. I got laid off. I've been unemployed, collecting that oh. sweet unemployment money. More than I've been more money than I've been when I'm working. So That's it's what like what everybody's saying. That's nice. what all the extreme liberals have been saying that they're making <laughs> more money than they were before. So why would they ever get back to work? Such a liberal mindset yeah, thing. I don't want uh, They absolutely. I don't want to go back it. to work and be broke again. Right, absolutely. Just take the government's money. It's all I mean, it's all, it's all fine. What, what, what would that ever cost anybody? Anyway, uh, Man, what, I feel bad. What do you feel bad about? I feel bad for this guy. Like, imagine your your, your girlfriend leaving <laughs> you. Fuck that. And He's a going chef. With William Michael. I'm gonna show it, you like you're, you're no. This is over. Look. He's racking the pussy. I mean, this is the girl. Uh, this girl is personifying the movie. It follows. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> look, we we all have crazy exes. It's better to <clears throat> get rid of it and get through it. And you know, and those girls are also. You know, some of them are some of the most fun in the bedroom. You know what I mean? They all have their pluses and minuses. You know what I mean? Like I was thinking the other day about, uh, you know, uh, about how um, about how badly I'm looking forward to getting an actual massage. And every time I go to my massage place, I always go. And I'm always like to the front desk lady. I don't want to do an impression, but she's so Asian. Uh, do it, do it. No, it's fine. I can't. We're at a barbecue. We're no, I can't do it. Um, <laughs> but my point is, is I always go give me, you know, the strongest, heaviest. Like, uh, you Manliest. can't hurt me. You can't hurt me. Whatever you do, you can't hurt me. And um, and sometimes they'll give me like one of the ones that. You know, like if none of those are available, it'll be like some beautiful Asian girl, and it's just pointless. Yeah. I waste. Well, that's for it's the a hand waste job. of Those right. There for the hand job. Yeah, but no, this is a legit place. I don't go to the same places. <laughs> <laughs> I that's actually go for the it. massage. No, winter massage is going to open up back. That's up. what I, I need. I so need one bad. so bad. It's Tony, crazy. that's crazy because I, I swear need. I always ask for the smallest girl that can walk on my back. Really? Yep. Yeah, we're opposites. I I would let you walk on my back. You should try Rolf Rolf Rolfing. Is that what it's called? Uh, oh, I heard where, that's painful. It's super painful, but he might like. Is that like with the, the bars, laughing? where uh, they use like a pipe or something? No, they just get really into the muscle. Like they, the they, 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 that's what I. That's get. basically what I'm already yeah. getting. If they're using any part of their body, that's what I get. It's crazy what goes on up here. Would you do cupping, Tony? I want to do cupping. I don't really think that that would really. I I, I should try it just to see what it's like, but I want to try it. I don't know. I got a question. You're a chef. Have you been making any kind of crazy shit during this quarantine? You've probably been cooking for yourself. I'm a bit of a chef. Yeah, I'm myself. so overcooking for myself. I'd rather fucking blow my brains out than make food anymore. <laughs> wow. I'm just making. I'm just Dude, making. What I'm, just making I'm always worried about you when I see you because I know your job's I'm super good. stressful. I'm, good, I'm like. I haven't, I haven't been working, so like I'm, I got a break from that bullshit. But so, what have you been eating? If you're not food. cooking for yourself, what have you been eating? I mean, I cook, but it's just simple shit. I eat a lot of tra Trader Joe's frozen food. 
You could always Vegetables use the promo code and... Kill Tony over at Postmates.com and get a hundred free dollars for your first month of delivery. Basically, just I'll write free that down. Hundred bucks for a month if you haven't signed up for Postmates yet. All right. Well, hey, that I think David wants to ask him something. Yeah, go ahead, David. Hey, bro. What's up? I want to try to set up you to get on Brothers in Cursive. I need. <laughs> yeah. That sounds good. This sounds like a great idea. DM me or Red Band. Yes. All right, I'll do that. We need, we, we need William to have a sobering experience for once during this quarantine. <laughs> the best episode. Yes. Bruh. We're like Eskimo brothers. Yes, oh. for that sure. That shit blew my mind, dog. I'm still trying to... Me too. Heck yeah. Well, that's not the only thing that was blown by his ex-girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mario. Thank you so much for uh, for calling right, in. For Super compelling. Me. Thank you for all that information. See you guys that was so fun. Thank you, Mario Tonti. Everybody, follow him on Twitter and Instagram at Mario Tarted. All one word. Mario Tarted. Mario oh, okay. Tonti. That's a great. He's a great guy. Kill Tony. I see him every Monday when we're at the comedy store during our normal lives. Um, all right, let's keep it moving along. Your next uh, submission goes by the name of Ellen. Here comes Ellen. Barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce. <laughs> Here is Ellen, everybody. I am using the number one live podcast in America to expose my abuser. I am being sexually abused by someone from Tiger King. My therapist told me not to say his name, so I'll describe him instead. Um, he's not even hot. He's missing a lot of his teeth. Just doesn't lower it down. Uh, he recently had to move to Florida. And I'll tell you what, if it wasn't for him being locked up, he's definitely capable of killing people. And also his name rhymes with blow. His signature abuse isn't even original. He Louis CKs me every day. Now I'm not gonna lie, that shit's kind of funny. But yesterday, he crossed the line. He made me eat his poop. Get out of here. He just slugged it straight down my throat and I had to swallow it. And if you don't believe me, this morning I took a shit and it had corn kernels in it and I haven't eaten corn in three months. My abuser, he's not the only one doing this. There's a whole ring of them. These Z-list celebrities with one or two things on their IMDb's that are literally swinging their dicks and their shit around. Did you hear that meow, Mr. Tiger King? You know what that means. Your time is up, Hollywood chimpanzees. And it starts with you, Bo. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Baby back ribs. I want my chilies, baby. Baby back ribs. <laughs> Barbecue sauce. Barbecue hey. sauce. Hi, Ellen. How are you? Hey, I'm really good. How are you guys? Good, good. That was an interesting, uh, interesting <laughs> if, submission. If that was my daughter, yeah, I'd be saying, thanks. I want my baby back. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Also, you said the number one podcast in America. It's actually the world. So uh, that's get it true. Right. I know, but I'll tell you what. I kept that submission. It wasn't my best like video take or whatever because my cat came in at like the perfect timing, and I thought it was too funny to restart. So I just nope. that that's one. what, that's and what I was going to say. And down. He didn't do the meow at one minute. Because uh, so I was... messed up my punchline. I was blown away by what you were talking about. That's yeah, uh, it was very. That is uh, right. Distracted me. Right up Red Band's alley, well, pooping it, it, in a mouth. And it's interesting. It's interesting. This stole that. This happened this week. Uh, I had corn twice this week, and I never saw it again. You know, like for the first time oh, in my life, I never. It, I, where'd it go? <laughs> wow. And somebody said it's like these new genetically modified corns. They they actually digest better or something. Hmm. Mm. I think your body has been so starved for vegetables for a long yeah. time that it's holding onto that corn yeah. for all the winter. I think Red Man ate poop it candy corn. That's what happened. Candy corn. <laughs> <laughs> he, <didn't know. laughs> he had a CD from the band Corn. Oh my goodness. Great. This chick looks like a cigarette fairy. <laughs> cigarette fairy. Like she'll replenish your cigarettes while you sleep. <laughs> What? <laughs> I love it. Like the tooth fairy? Oh. Uh, so, Toothless fairy. <laughs> Ellen, what part of uh, eastern Washington do you live in? I, I, even better, I live in Florida. Oh. A lot of Florida people. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of Florida people. They, yeah. uh, they yeah. have uh, the internet there. What's she in, Sarasota? Yeah, barely. 
Tampa. Yeah, I really do. I live in Central Florida called Wachula, and I really do take care of the two chimpanzees. They were at the very end of the documentary. I actually took the video um, oh, that the came from Joe the, Exotic. So the, the ones where they're like the hands when they close up at their hands, and yeah. it was really sad. They hug. You Aww. have those? It is really sad. They did hug. That was I took that video. Yeah. Oh wow, God, that's crazy. All right. <laughs> so how much mm -hmm. of what you talked about is real? during that set it's 100 percent true so the only thing that's not true is that when he threw shit in my mouth it didn't happen recently it was before covid so uh unfortunately because we weren't wearing masks yet and chimpanzees get really weird and like mad for they're like it's basically like kids and they're terrible twos that are just like psychotic and angry all the time yeah, and like me. Uh, basically he just got really he got really mad at me and he shit in his hand and threw it when I was talking to my intern and my mouth was wide open and it hit like it literally it literally hit the back of my throat. Wow. And I had to swallow it. That is absolutely <laughs> incredible. How long have you been uh, taking care of animals for? Um, Animals like four years, but I've been at this chimpanzee sanctuary for two. Oh. What it tastes like. Shit. There you go. Let's go. <laughs> Honest, I mean, it tastes like it smelled. I don't know how else to describe yeah. it. And I just like poured Dawn soap in my mouth. I mean, that's like the only thing that's not in our manual what to do working with chimpanzees. And I just poured Dawn soap in my mouth and just like spit for like an hour. But, You're a beautiful yeah, girl. Did any of these chimps ever? Uh, any of these chimps ever try anything sexual on you? They do. Yeah, that part is true too. So, and that's. It's only really, we have a lot of the chimpanzees that were rescued from like the entertainment industry or like once they're like seven years old, you can't use them anymore. You have to put them basically in a cage or they'll kill you. And these guys are like all in their thirties, forties. And a lot of them, it's like right when you get there in the morning, they, it's only the ones that were in movies. I don't know why. And they all have different ways of masturbating. And the one that's actually, I talked about, he'll spit on his dick, like spit and it'll hit his dick. And then he'll make hard eye contact with you and like jack it like a person wow. until That's the Weinstein wow. chip. You should post post those videos. <laughs> Why after seven yeah. will they kill you? They're so strong. Because they're at that point they're fully grown and it's kind of like they've hit adolescence and they're just um I don't know if you know anything about chimps, but they're they're not nice. <laughs> they're just right. kind of violent by nature. That's how they kind of sort out all of their things within like, you know, their groups and yeah, I'm sure you've heard stuff in the news about like that chimp that ripped that lady's face off and <laughs> Joe Rogan talks about it all the time. Yeah. And yeah, chimps are crazy. I heard Michael Jackson's chimp was crazy. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah. imagine, imagine so, if normal chimps are crazy. What Michael Jackson, <laughs> wait, what, what'd you say? Like to look he at booty hole. at our sanctuary. You got Michael Jackson's chimp? Bubbles. Oh, we shit. have the original bubbles. We oh, do. Wow. That's wow. no lie. Yeah. I had a question. If we're he, ever in your area, can really... the Kill Tony squad come, come take a tour? Will you take us on a tour of your chimp place? 100%. Oh, you guys are coming to Miami, Florida, I think, and I would Fun. love to give you a tour. How far are you from uh, you. Miami? Uh, it's like two and a half hours, but it's uh, a quick drive. <laughs> I'll walk there. I'll see you next week. All right, next maybe, you, maybe, you could, maybe you could just bring the, the, bring the chimps to the show. <laughs> He's missing an <laughs> arm and leg. Bubbles got to be old by now. He can't fuck nobody so, else. So, well, I'll write Bubbles He's a minute to do. <laughs> so do you know Carol Baskin? <laughs> do you know her? I don't know. Um, no. Nobody at my sanctuary, even the founder, knows her personally. So, yeah. She deals with big cats. So it's kind of that documentary made all animal people look crazy. And there are, I promise you, like normal people <laughs> that work with animals. Um, but, yeah, no. She's kind of big cat world separate. Everybody says that everybody's crazy, though. Everybody was throwing each other under the bus throughout that entire documentary. I guess my question's this. How many, uh, how many animals have you killed? <laughs> <laughs> um, honestly, one on accident, but yeah. How did that happen? How did the accident happen? Uh, I don't know if you guys saw my cat. Bow and actually Gary says it was right a bow here. accident with a bow and arrow. Were you pointing a bow and arrow at them? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. How did no, it happen? It's not. Um, I have pet sugar gliders, which you should not have as pets, but they were kind of oh. like donated to me I when I worked those. at Columbus Zoo. I'm from uh, Columbus. You, you, Columbus. You're from Columbus Zoo. Zoo. So you know Jack. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I worked in his department. That was my very first job was like working with the animals that he takes on. Um, he took on like late night shows and I would do shows with them on grounds at the Columbus Zoo. I used to do the, the uh, zoo camp there growing up every year where you would stay oh, there really cool. 
cool. <laughs> All right, what's a sugar glider? What is what is that? This little cute little squirrel thing with the big eyes. He's you not awake. One? I still have one, but I had but, three. And anyway, long story short, one got out of its cage, and I probably could have prevented it. And my cat that was in my minute video killed it. Oh, oh so you didn't kill you it. Didn't. Oh, you didn't. Oh, your cat <laughs> I mean, it was negligent. Considering I work to protect animals, it was negligent. So, right. Well, yeah, it was good I for your cat. Extra treat it for was, your cat. It was great enrichment. What a fun toy. <laughs> God, that would have been sad. Those things are so cute. I wish you could show us yours right now. They're the most adorable. He's asleep. I mean, I can try. He'll poke his head out. Yeah, let's try it. Let's wake it up. Play it some All Polish right. uh, Polish guitar music to I wake mean, it up. Yeah, sugar, sugar. <laughs> oh, he's awake. Oh, look. Oh, my God. Oh, <gasps> oh wow. Baby. Oh, my wow. goodness. Look at that thing. Their, their eyes are so pretty. Look at that. It's like a... This, is, this camera is awkward. Hold on. It's like a chinchilla fucked a squirrel. They can it. fly. Oh my goodness. Wow. Yeah, so they can fly. Like glaze over the fact that Brian said he was doing cams as a child. What? He said it's a zoo cam? He used to do this. Oh, never zoo mind. Cam. <laughs> Sounds like something he's doing now. Wow. Yeah, it's something that kids can do. I honestly didn't know it's been around that long. I thought it was a newer thing. But oh, no. Yeah, I used to do that. And Jack Hanna used to actually be the one that would come out. And talk to us before we went to bed because we slept there for some reason. Was, Columbus oh, had a crazy. bunch of great things. Remember Kosai? Did you ever go to yeah. Kosai? Kosai's science? still open, I think. Remember they had the old train in the back where yeah. the trolley where you could yeah. sit in? We would uh, take screwdrivers and when we would go there for school and would go in the trolley and undo the windows and then climb out and go to the city center, the shopping center, hang out at the shopping center. All Jesus, day. what a rebellious <laughs> child you were. <laughs> My God, little children sneaking out of a trolley to go to the, the <laughs> local mall. Yeah. Children of the porn over here. Yeah, <laughs> telling you. All right. Well, Ellen, so much fun. I mean, great, uh, great stuff. I honestly thought that everything you were saying was a lie. I'm like, oh, this is weird that we she's did. making all of this up about Joe Exotic. It's sort of like out of... <laughs> It's too. It's been too long to even make stuff up. So, uh, in um, <laughs> in retrospect, I'm amazed at your incredible story. And I think uh, oh, in the future we definitely should maybe schedule a show near you because I think that would be worth it. Yeah, you know? when we go from Miami Please, to what? Yeah. What's what are you on the way to? Tampa or something? Or <laughs> it's in the middle of nowhere. But honestly, we're like an hour and a half from Orlando, and we're also an hour and a half from Tampa. Wow. Which which di which direction? South of Orlando? Um, oh God, Southwest, I believe. So technically if we did Miami, oh, Southwest. Yeah, you're not really, are you on the mm -hmm. way in between anything? Yeah, that's from Miami to Orlando, Florida. No, <laughs> unfortunately not. <laughs> for that West part. It's mm -hmm. worth right. it though, I promise. Yeah, I'm sure it would be worth it. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Get us around some, some good old monkeys. Yeah. Red Band will sleep in again and it'll yeah. get us Watch him out, watch him out. <laughs> He'll get stuck in the trolley when he just crawls <laughs> Uh, do we really have to go there? I don't know. If we get to the... I want to take a nap before the show. Uh... I'm just going to watch Planet of the Apes and get Postmates. <laughs> oh, we have both of the, the chimpanzees that were in Planet of the Apes. Red band. All right, Ellen. Thank you so much. So interesting. We'll see you again soon. Ellen, everybody. All right. Bye-bye. She's on Instagram at Chimp Biscuit. C-H-I-M-P-B. K-I-T. Uh, we know your next comedian. Baby back ribs. He's been, on, <laughs> he's been on the show a couple few times. Ladies and gentlemen, let's do it. Here's Kyle Gridley. Kyle Gridley. And here's some music. Here's Kyle Gridley. <laughs> all right. Okay, I can do this. This is really... All right. <laughs> okay, this is so hard. I did not. This is, what's my medium? I can't. Am I supposed to look at it? All right, shit. All right, I'm just gonna say it. Uh, for the last uh, three years, I've been living in the back of my 1982 El Camino. It was really fun. It was really cool. Till recently. Okay. Gosh, you know, fucking. You, you close a couple of gyms, you really fuck up a guy's life, huh? Jeez, I was doing it. I was fucking working at four in the morning and doing stand up at night. I fucking felt. Like I was accomplishing shit. And now I feel homeless, which I guess I was the whole time. I just honestly, I, I just, I thought I was getting away with it. I thought I, 
Jeez, I don't know, man. I don't know. What's it like to be, you know, working basically two jobs, living in your car, and then every business you use to survive closing all at once? What's that like? I don't. That is interesting for sure. Kyle wow. Grandley. Wow. Wow. Hi. Hi, guys. Mr. Tony. Man. Die for my nigga. Die for my nigga. For my nigga. Red band. 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 Red this guy's always this guy's always amped up. I didn't think about the gym thing. That must have affected a lot of people, like Malcolm and stuff like that. It probably had to move. Oh, so. Well, I, I think mean, Malcolm's in the house. Yeah. I mean, imagine not only that, but when everything first shut down, you couldn't even probably get anywhere to shower or brush your teeth at all. No, yeah. I mean, you know, I've been living in Southern California for a long time. I have a lot of friends, but you know, right. I I've been essentially working. Right. Still, next to Los Angeles International Airport, and it was real hard to get a guy to, you know, show up and come and hang out with a guy who's been working in the fucking hot spot of, you know. Yeah, what type of essential work have you been doing? I uh, am a janitor, if you remember. I work at In-N-Out Burger. They're a great company. They're an amazing company. Yes, and are. if I don't say that, one of the it's been a legal why, powder keg. Yep, one of the reasons why a... I was extremely offended at that fast food thing that came out that said Denny's was number one in California. I mean, like everyone knows it's in and out, <laughs> in and out, all the way. These, yeah, these crazy, crazy people it's out here company. trying to talk shit about. about in and out when they want to, yeah. when they want to get their comments Please. up on their social media <laughs> posts or whatever. It's yeah. ridiculous. The only one that got right was Texas and Whataburger. Yeah. And that's all they had to do yeah. to get us upset is yeah. like get a couple of the states right. Yeah. Called yeah, it, California please, please Denny's in Ohio melty. I will die. What? Just keep eating there every day. It pays my checks and that's great. It's going just do. fine, my yeah, friend. I promise you fine. that. I got a question though. Why three years homeless? That seems like a long I ass was, time. I mean, I thought I was doing it. You know, man, I'd fucking. Work at four in the morning, all right? I'd get out at like 12.30. I'd fucking go to the gym, shower up, spend an hour or two in LA traffic, you know, post up, fucking write something, edit a video, anything. And then I would just do stand up for the rest of it. It felt like I was always out doing something. I felt like I was, you know, working hard or something. You are. And now it's just. You are. That's what yeah. it takes. Yeah, yeah. That's what it takes. You have to do all that stuff and get a bunch of lucky breaks. And this is all part of your story. You know, it's going to be great. part of the it's book. It'll be story. part of your history. Either that or you're going to end up failing, but you'll still have a good story about it. You know what I mean? So it goes both ways. Yeah. Great eulogy. What? <laughs> <laughs> Man, oh, yeah, it, it is wild. And I did think about a lot of the comedians when this happened. Um, it is completely wild times to be living the dream, surviving out of your car. But where are you originally from, Kyle? I, I've been, I uh, was born in Orange. I, I grew up in the Inland Empire, San Bernardino, California. Uh, your, 2008, your... highest murder per capita in the nation. It's fun. Yeah. Uh, but then I've been in Orange County for five years, and I now I work at, in Westchester. If you know, that's the airport. Right, but your parents are still and in I'm the Inland not... Empire. Oh, ma, my mom lives in Me you know in Mexico, and my dad is somewhere. Who knows? Okay, I'm not finding out. <laughs> Our producers are Some telling guy. us he's on the line. <laughs> yeah. Oh, your right. Awesome. I get to, you want to call my dad again? Your father's just like Jeez. your job, in and out. <laughs> <laughs> it's no, perfect. It's great. How old a were you? A little bit, a little bit. How old were you when he took off? Well, he didn't take off. It's, you know, he beat me and then, you know, my 
I told my mom and then, you know, the divorce started happening and it was all very quick. <laughs> oh God. So not only did you take the not beating, but ever <laughs> since then you've had the inevitable guilt of breaking your parents up. Am I correct? <laughs> well, it's all my fault. Um, I don't care what Robin Williams says. I don't care. Was, yeah, you're wrong. Um, I don't, you know what? Can I say it? Can I just say it? Yeah. I, when I was a kid, I was beat, my, beat by my dad and I am upset about it. It <laughs> yeah. bothers me. It happened. I have lingering emotional issues. Uh, it's fun. You know, I can talk about it all day, but you know, geez, you know, think about talking to him again and what, am I just going to get gaslit by this guy, the lawyer? I mean, at best, what? He's 77. Oh, I'd have to take right. care of an old that's dying man, right? right? Like, that's right. He's a wildly geez. successful lawyer. That is correct. <laughs> and now I remember. Uh, let's check in with uh, Dwayne Wilcox. Yeah, I, I can't tell if it's the camera oh. angle or not, but it, it looks like you have a permanent deep fake filter on your face. <laughs> Something's wrong. The are Tim those Dillon dads? Filter? I'm, are those, those are all dads, right? I'm, I'm terrified, but also I want acceptance. Well, who, I can't even see them on the phone. Well, then you have to decide if you'd rather be gaslit or street lit. <laughs> you want to see the car? I'm actually, I found okay. the producer. Happy birthday. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, it's go. Tony's Very birthday. Good. Happy Hello, birthday. Everybody. Everybody. Very good. Um, yeah, wow, I, I, I actually, I'm at my friend's shop right now. It's a, I, I was told to get a stable internet connection and my 1982 El Camino does not have that. So I'm at a, it's crazy. I'm actually at a silver smithing shop. I can show you the whole thing. It's kind of a lot. Let's so you, do it. Let's do it. Absolutely. The guy, he works on metal. He works on metal. So you he heard stable connection. And he went to an actual stable. <laughs> <laughs> it's an old tin can in Costa Mesa, California. And he's, it's his name is, his, the guy who runs it, his name is Sam Kutz. He used to do comedy in the 80s and 90s, but had to quit because of his crack whore wife. And, uh, He's been hanging Sam, out in Orange County since then. Sam what? What's his last what? name? Sam what? Sam Cut. Sam how spell, Cuts. How do you spell that? K-U-T-Z. Yeah, this guy, I remember right this here. guy. He's like an older guy. Silver hair, right? Ah, uh, he's got blackish. You know, he's not been on the show. He he lost his courage a long time ago. I don't it's fun. We hang out. I make fun of him for being old. We smoke pot. I think his name's uh, on the wall. It's a good time. Oh, okay. I remember seeing that. My car, is, my car is outside. Look, man, that's my car great. Is you know, it's good to have, it's good to have older types of uh, of uh, people that have been in the business a long time to look up to, and to hear stories about, it and to let you know things are going to get through it. You know, a very, very crazy <laughs> thing that uh, that happened when I first started was it was actually, you know, like I've talked about, I think on this show, right at next, uh, your very Starbucks, right where you are every day. Um, is where I met uh, Shia LaBeouf's father, Jeff LaBeouf. And um, I ended up making friends with him. And he gave me some great advice because my big plan was to start at the open mics around Burbank and then work my way into the store like so many people do. And he actually was the final decider for me. He goes, you know, just start at the store, sink or swim, don't waste your time or else you'll be even more in your head by the time you get to the store just start there and it was a great piece of advice and uh and him and I were really close for uh for quite a while and it was, it's crazy I actually watched Honey Boy for the first time this past week and boy was that surreal because that's a movie all about him and all of the mm -hmm. things about him were exactly spot on. All stuff that I had to deal with. I realized from watching that movie that he was definitely mentoring me in a way to sort of, you know, just do what he sort of did with Shia. He felt like he was good at that type of thing. And um, what's my point is, oh, that someone like uh, Sam there, while he may not have been wildly successful in his own art, could be someone that helps you survive, and also a father-like figure that people uh, yeah. with damaged childhood. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah, well, he's a guy. You know, he's a fun guy. And I, I did a little. You know, I, I bought a camera a while ago, and I filmed a little podcast. I showed him some. You know, all the old shit he has. He paints a lot. This one's rad. You can see it. This one is. It's like he did it on sheet metal. The oh, sheet wow. metal. It's a metal sheet. 
Oh, that's but, cool. So that nice. is super cool. Yeah, he's, right. a, he's a guy. He's, he's hanging out. He, has, he, he writes. He writes with me. It's a joke. I love it. That's beautiful. That's, a joke. that's what it's all about, yeah. man. Especially. Do you, guys, do you guys want to see the car? It's right out the door. You guys want to see the sure. car? Let's see. Let me know. I'm, not here, buy it, I'm here, you know, often enough. It's in Orange County, but I still have to go to work all the time. As a janitor. Kyle has so much energy for a guy with a fat head in, 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 in his sleep. Are you, are you, you're, so dark? your dad only beat you. He never did any sex stuff, right? Well, I, you know, he's a weird, he was weird. He used to get naked and do jumping jacks in front of the house. <laughs> Show us yeah. the El Camino, Kyle. Yeah, I'm a real molested personality, right? I don't yes, know what it exactly. is. Exactly, that's what I was going to say. I don't... Yeah, it's just a personality of I have of molestation. Um, it's good. It's good. Whoop! Can you see it? It's rad. Oh, I've had yeah. it for ten years. That is pretty. Sweet. It's been really fun rolling up and being cool, and people stare at me, and I smoke joints and drive, and I write while driving on the phone. Um, oh, wow. Honestly, I'm pretty disappointed in the cops for not catching me at this point. Jeez, I've I know a real when bad guy get drinking rid of and driving. Me up. Did you hear that? David Lucas ah, is willing hey, to buy David, your. Hey, thank you for. Yeah, but no, I'm going to keep it forever. It's important to me. And I want to thank David. He offered to give me free shoes one time because I looked stupid. Yeah, bro, I still got you. Whenever you want these shoes, bro, I just <laughs> gave away 40 pair of shoes like two weeks ago. Heck yeah. David shoes? lost wow. a lot of weight <laughs> in his feet during the quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> I had to use these motherfuckers. That's nice. <laughs> you, look, you look great. I saw you at the fucking the little the parking lot. Stand up out. show. We're doing <laughs> no, I don't fuck yeah. no, okay. First Kyle, all. thank you so much. An incredible story of someone surviving during these crazy times, barely on anything but uh, momentum and love for the game, and we love that. We'll see you at the comedy store soon. Shouldn't be long now. Kyle Gravely, yeah, everybody. It's that time, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna roll right into uh, it. Here we go. For the one, the only, the cerebral assassin, the man that can, one of my favorite human beings in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the great Michael Lair, everyone. Here we go. <laughs> hey, I'm here also to support Ed Sheeran. Too much? Uh, <laughs> hey, is someone say something? Is there a delay? No, you're good, Michael. Everything's good. How's it uh, going? Good. I had some wonderful California dummies today. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, will you tell Alan? Bubbles licked my asshole. He needs to fucking be held accountable. Wow, I did not know that. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> David, can I have some shoes? Hell yeah, it don't matter the size, but I'll give them to you. Heck yeah. <laughs> yeah. You man, heavy socks, y'all. <laughs> All right. Look, I wanted to talk to you. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> so, um, ever since I got famous, I go to all these Hollywood and Corona fuck parties. Where we all get inoculated and we come our brains out. But no one will do drugs with me because they're worried that I'll die and they'll go to jail. So I made a video to I take responsibility. For all, I, all the drugs I want to do, so Gage, roll the tape. Ooh. Hey guys, great party, great party guys. Hey, great party guys. If anyone finds 
a big bag of cocaine is the... Hey, I'm taking all these Xanax. I'm melting. So I need a little something to take the edge off. You hear that? Every time a bell rings, I get high on angel dust. <laughs> My point is, if you don't want fentanyl at your party, put in the invitation. Because I wouldn't have brought all this fentanyl to do my sound. <laughs> yes, who learned how to make quaaludes? I'll give you a hint. He can stand, but he can't walk. No I touch my crocodile. <laughs> I cut it out of a crocodile. Crocodile and crocodiles have nothing to do with each other. I just had it laying down in the crocodile ate it, so I told him I ain't the one. <laughs> no one dragged my lifeless body in here. I came in this closet to do all the heroin cause everyone at this party is a loser. <laughs> Yes. Ray, let's party. Him laughing, party. <laughs> him laughing while the video was going on. We could still hear you laughing in the background. Yeah. <laughs> that was great during the fentanyl yeah. part. What? What? We could. Yes, we. Red Band was talking about hearing you laughing. He loved it. Your laugh is. Uh, oh yeah. More I'm contagious. I'm a very Jimmy Fallon type breaker. <laughs> <laughs> This boy is stupid. <laughs> yeah, I'm the stupidest. You know that, David. Yeah, but stupid to black people is a good thing. Yeah, it's, like when they go, you um, stupid. My, I don't know, dude. It's confusing. <laughs> I love it, Michael. <laughs> so much fun. Crazy stuff happening all around the world. Uh, yeah. What, what's shaking in your world? Anything else you want to talk about? Oh, yeah. Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> look. Look who I fucking got back from William. He huh? stole it from me. <laughs> that motherfucker. Wow. William, keep it in your pants, you fucking freak. <laughs> I can't believe you ended up with her in the end. She has the be nice tattoo yeah. on her arm still and everything. That's funny. Mm. Hell yeah. Yeah. Yeah, David said that's funny. I heard him. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, man. I fucking love it. Yeah. Uh, so how's everything no, else? Done. How's the sun doing? He's great. He's a real hippie. I'll be like, hey, Colin, because I'm like, plan, 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 plan. And I'm like, when do you want to come back and all these moving parts? And he's like, well, let's just see, man. Let's yeah. see what happens. He's you stoned know, up like, in Idaho? Wyoming. Wyoming. Everyone does that. Literally, no one remembers the word Wyoming. Yeah. They say Montana, Colorado, <laughs> yeah. Iowa. Never Wyoming. It is weird. It's I feel crazy. like yeah. I feel like that's the state that would get left out if you had to like try to name them without yeah. thinking of it. Wyoming's a weird one. Yeah, I don't know anything about. Wyoming. It's the least Kanye owns populated. like five hundred acres there. Who? Kanye, he bought a ranch. Oh, yeah. I did know that. Oh, yeah. Jackson Hole, Wyoming. I went to college in Wyoming and I made a baby. 
And then um, <laughs> I was valedictorian, and um, they didn't make me alumni of <laughs> Not yet. Year. Not yet. No, We're not giving up on Tony, that. Tony, Tony, it's, 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 it's some. Yeah, but not not this year. But maybe next year you're the alumni of the year. You don't really want to be alumni of the year of 2020 anyway. It's yeah. the worst year ever. Yeah, I am. But 2021 is not looking good for me either. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean by that? Oh, I'm melting. <laughs> no, no, you're not. No, I'm melting. You guys can see. Guys, I didn't always talk like this. I used to be. And now. Oh, no, oh, no, no it happened. <laughs> you froze up there. You scared us, Michael. We thought that was it. <laughs> <laughs> that, was <fucked> up. <laughs> that was incredible. Hey, hey Joburg, when I die, take over my merch. <laughs> my merch. I would love to. It's all I got. <laughs> it's my son's legacy. <laughs> all I have to leave him is 20. <laughs> Can you leave Joel your comedic timing instead of your merch store? <laughs> Let the man talk, Tony. <laughs> what is it, the internet? What? No, you're fine now. It just froze is once. Like the internet? No, it's good now. It just froze once a little bit ago. It was perfect. When you watch the playback of it, you'll laugh. I don't watch this horrible no, show. No, I know. I know, but you'll see it on like a clip. Someone will clip it out. No. And... no yeah. No, you'll no, see it. Yeah, no, you will. No, yeah, no. someone's going to clip no, that out on social media. No. 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 Yeah, huh? Mm -mm. I won't watch it. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. No. I'm going to no. show it. I'm going to make sure you I'm see it. Ne I'm Netflix. I'm watching Epstein. I won't watch Kill Tony. Anyone else have a anyone else have this conspiracy theory that uh Let's hear, let's everything hear. that's happening around us with uh with race and the riots and all of it is so that people don't talk about the Epstein documentary that is that would that would basically destroy billionaires and their secret lives of crazy sex thing i think no, the no. same but not i've seen but takashi 69 yeah <laughs> yeah snitches are in this summer well he's this is a distraction so he could chill out yeah oh. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Lair, I love you more than anything in the world. Anything else before we go? Guys. Absolutely. What? Oh, happy birthday! Thank you so much, Michael. Yeah, I'm the oldest. I <laughs> How I old are you? No, it's a man. What? How old are you? <laughs> 41. Oh, yeah. You look great, stud. Bang. I'm melting, though. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry to bring down the room. <laughs> but I'm the one who's melting, so maybe you all should get off your fucking high horse. No, you're doing great. Again, Michael, Michael, I've said this before. I'll say it again. I have you third on my Kill Tony death poll. I won't say who's above you, but I have you in the three spot. <laughs> which is... <laughs> oh, I got to know. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> Uh, is it not obvious to you, Joel? Yeah, even I know. Well, I know. Who <laughs> I want to know who's second. <laughs> it's William, you idiot. Oh, I forgot he's, about that guy. He's dying. <laughs> oh, God. Red Band and William are tied neck and necks. <laughs> Jeez. There's so much... 
So much for you, I don't want to name names. You could go to my bookie and probably bet on it. That's true. I do. <laughs> you I have spend, you win, you get paid. I bet all the money I... in my Ridge wallet at my bookie. <laughs> And I am trust you. I'm not gonna flush it down the my tushy toilet. And you know what has a compartment for your ridge wallet? Huh? Sheath underwear. That's true. <laughs> I'm yeah. rocking sheaths right now all it. week. They just re-upped us again last week. Yeah. I mean, sheath underwear all the way around. The entire crew. <laughs> Look at this. Sheath underwear. I'm gonna vomit. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> sheath underwear. Can't say, pee, can't say beef on that. Everyone's hey, got sheath. Tony. Everyone's Tony. got sheath. Yeah, Tony. we got enough sheath to last, to Tony. last us. Yeah, yes, we, Michael Lair. Tony, yes. tell me when I put in enough effort for a free <laughs> underwear. I'm going to get you a pair of sheath underwear. Not only that, but they have it so that... Uh, <laughs> They have it just like your, uh, you just like your Velcro, uh, Tommy Hilfiger shirt or whatever. Wait, um, magnets? Yeah, they got, yeah, they got Tommy. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Uh, uh, You're ripped, dude. What the fuck? That is incredible. Yeah, You're in good shape, Michael. You're in great shape. Yeah. You know what? You know what? You right. just moved to fourth on the death pole. <laughs> <laughs> Can I say more David last Lucas is over thing? there shaking his head because he knows he's in the third spot. <laughs> Michael, May what? I make a comment on that? Absolutely. A lot of people, pardon me, a lot of people talk about what good shame I'm in. That's part of the disease, you fucking morons. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he doesn't eat and. Uh... Right. He's on a lot of medicine. Mm. Man, am I misfiring? No, no, no. It's just really, that's just really a sad, that's a really sad punchline that time. I was actually watching a video. I don't, I don't know, I don't know if your get or done is ever going to be, it's the disease you morons. <laughs> I actually was, I watched a, a video, old video of Michael the other day, and he had a little pot belly back in the day. Oh yeah, buddy. <laughs> I used to love beer and <laughs> that ALS is working for you. That's gonna yeah, be the man, new LA I... diet. No doubt, more neuron disease in the house. Catch you at the Grove. <laughs> you can, we'll see you there for sure. Michael Lair, ladies and gentlemen. We love you so much, Michael. We'll see you next love week. You guys. Michael Lair. Hey, oh, we did it on the right thing. That was incredible. Ladies and gentlemen, your final comedian yeah, right. of the night goes by the name of Tyler Baggins. Here's Tyler Baggins. Tyler Baggins. <laughs> hey, so you want to know the best part and the worst part of having had 12 concussions? Well, the worst part's definitely the frequent fits of unbridled rage, but the best part is I can't even remember them. <laughs> can't trust these doctors, though. I went to one of these doctors who gave me one of these cat scans. I don't know why he scanned my cat. I'm the one who hit my head. But he says all the bleeding's on the inside, so whatever. Anyways, what I'm here for, you ever notice how uh, this Epstein and this Weinstein and this Frankenstein all got a common denominator? Yeah, they're all uh, vicious sexual monsters. Well, not sexual, but you get it. <laughs> a lot of these smart alecks, they'll say, actually, Frankenstein was the doctor, not the monster. Oh, oh really? You're telling me this doctor went around all the cemeteries around town digging up body parts, mimicking human life, spitting in the eye of God, and you're telling me he's not a monster? Also, where'd he find a guy with a rectangle head, huh? Someone ought to scan his cat, eh, Fonz? Tyler, how are you, my man? Hi, 
am fantastic. How are you, Tony? Great. Are you in Madison, Milwaukee? Where is that fun statue? Oh, that's uh, that's in Milwaukee. I live about. I actually looking out my window. I can shmizzle shmazzle see where Laverne and Shirley made beer. Ooh, is that yeah, still that, that wasn't burned down? Not yet. Hopefully, within time. <laughs> Have you ever tried uh, Pepsi milk before? Yes. Pepsi milk, yeah, it tastes like a it tastes like a root beer float. But, yeah. You know, whatever. I don't want to talk about Laverne and Shirley though. <laughs> Can we I mean, not you talk brought it about up. Laverne Jeez. and Shirley? I, I was, brought it up. Yeah, you're right. I was trying to connect with the Geico yeah. caveman. I knew that was coming. <laughs> oh, yeah, there you it is. Stop it. <laughs> a boy that like do love. There it is. Bluto's yeah. son. Remember I was Bluto? <laughs> from Popeye? Wow, wow. He looks yeah, like, I look like I'm going to go lift weights at the beach in 1922 or he something. He looks like yeah. Portland Aquaman. Um, right. <laughs> that boy got a civil rights lifeguard vest on. Life. Uh, yeah, I said that. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So you're in Milwaukee? Yeah, I'm in Milwaukee now because, uh, well, I used to live in Madison. Um, you ever been there, Tony? Yes. You ever been to Madison? Multiple times. Okay. Many Actually, times. One of the great comedy clubs in the country is there. It's in the, It's got the... Uh, comedy on State. Comedy on State, the little corner yeah. place there. I've also performed at, I believe it's the Pabst Theater. Is that in Milwaukee or Madison? That's in, uh, that's in Milwaukee. That's at Turner Hall. Uh, you've been to Turner yep. Hall, too, been huh? Been to Turner Hall. We did Kill Tony there. I've done uh, the Pabst Theater there multiple times with other people. And uh, I've done Madison's, uh, what's the theater there that's amazing with the lights that go around it? Uh, who cares? I don't it's know. It's down the street from Comedy on the State. S not the State Theater. It's the Barrymore. The Orpheum. The Orpheum. Either that's way. what it is. It's Orpheum Theater. Yeah, well. No. Yeah, the no, Orpheum. Is that, right Orpheum is that the big on one? State. No. You know what? I don't want to talk about comedy on state either because they got a soft ban on me. They they won't let me. They what won't happened? Let me in there. The majestic. But, the majestic. Ah, oh, the majestic. Mm. The orphans. Why are you banned at comedy on state? Um, I'm banned at comedy on state because everyone thinks I'm crazy because I've had a lot of concussions and I've been on Infowars a bunch of times. And they're <laughs> oh, all sweet. politically correct. Black helicopters. Yeah, I, I love it. But uh, yeah, Alex Jones is only crazy if you don't listen to him for four hours a day, dude. Like. Mm -hmm. Right. I don't yeah, see if you listen to anybody for four him. hours a day, you're pretty much you're pretty much in. It's like what came first, yeah. the chicken or the egg? If you, I'm pretty sure you get addicted to anything, you listen to it for four hours a day. But uh, yeah, and I, you know what? I wasn't gonna I wasn't gonna bring this up, but speaking of comedy on state, uh, and since the guy earlier um, said he was Eskimo brothers with uh, uh, William, William, okay, Tony. Tony, I got news for you. Uh -oh. Me and you, buddy, we're Eskimo brothers, too. Ooh, wow. Yeah. That's very exciting. Um, I okay. got the dirt. Okay, is this no, the setup I to a joke? Was... No, but I just thought it was kind of weird that she told me that she fucked you right before we had sex, so... Okay. <laughs> who was this? Right. Before? What do you mean? Who right was this? Don't don't name names. Don't do. That. Like, I'm not gonna man. name names. I wouldn't do <laughs> that. On. Who was this? That doesn't. What a, I'm sorry. Buffoon. I'm sorry. It's okay. No, but, it's uh, fine. Oh, I've, I've had sex with too. women before. The the listeners of this show are going to be shocked to find this out. What? Go ahead, Jeremiah. Yeah. I mean, uh, the Dwayne, Wilcox. Dwayne Wilcox. Now, when when she did tell you <laughs> Tony's name, did that make you more like ready for action, or did that like tame you down a or little like bit? Or like AIDS test the next morning? Hey yo. <laughs> well, I didn't. I didn't have to take a blue chew. That's for sure. <laughs> Heck yeah, I like that. All right, well that's fun. But I don't want to talk yeah. about that. <laughs> you don't wanna, no, I don't, don't want to talk about that. He he, oh. he says he doesn't want to talk about anything, and then he's like, I love that, but he'll <laughs> bring that up. So uh, how'd you get so many concussions? Um, well, I guess it's just um, uh, occupational hazard, I suppose, because when you've been uh. Uh, enhancement talent for the only R-rated deathmatch independent wrestling promotion in Milwaukee for the last 12 years. Oh. You get a few bumps and bruises. Absolutely. That's that's 
That's yeah. what happens. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, steel yeah, chairs. Yeah, I've and had things. a lot of concussions. Like uh, steel chairs. Yeah, steel chairs, stop signs, barbed wire, baseball bats. I lit a guy on fire one time. Wow. You know. Wow. Incredible. And do you still do that? Yeah, I just uh, I just had a show on Friday, ICW Milwaukee. We were the last one to run a show before coronavirus started, and we were the first one back. And we're all sick now. So. What's like? <laughs> what's your like character name? What's your wrestler name? Well, I'm uh, the hot topic, Tyler Baggins, and I am a DMT cult leader from another dimension, dude. Oh, okay. What are some of the craziest conspiracy theories that you believe in that that you think we would find shocking? Well, conspiracies, I, I like to call them, uh, right. you know, of course. just history. Fact. There's three things um, that you can't call I, I the people know. that are that are like that. You can't call conspiracy theorists theorists. You can't call internet trolls internet trolls. And you can't call hipsters hipsters. They all deny it. Well, you know, I don't think yeah. that uh, we are. Uh, and you can't call after 10 p.m. because you'll wake up their mom. Hey! <laughs> Wow, look at this. Gage uh, has brought up some of your wrestling. That girl's still... Oh, it's you. <laughs> <laughs> that's a dude. Ooh, that's that him. Him. That's Tyler Baggins. Oh, jeez. The hot topic. Is that thumbtacks? Going, un going under the ring. Going on? That's great. Great outfit. That boy oh, built boy. like a trailer park wife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's in the ring like one, too. I've yeah. seen this character on MidwestFreaks.com. <laughs> Okay, no, enough I, about the wrestling. Though, We're on the conspiracy now. Wrestling's oh, okay. You want to talk yeah. about like uh, how the moon isn't even real, dude? Come yes, on. tell us. Tell us. Tell us how the moon the isn't real. Explain to us. Because I was watching it the other All night. Right. <laughs> yeah, what are you the looking moon for? Is faker. The moon is faker than pro wrestling, okay? Because if space <laughs> is if space is nothingness, if space is nothingness, then... And the only thing between Earth and the moon is space. Then that th means that there is nothing between the Earth and the moon. So therefore, the moon is touching the Earth if it's real. It can't so you don't be believe in gravity. Because we all know the... What? You don't believe in gravity? Is that what you're saying? I'm a fucking pro wrestler. Of course I believe in gravity, <laughs> dude. Uh... I've been dumped on my head 12 dozen times. Oh my goodness gracious! What about five G? Wrestling, five G? Well, okay, you want you want to know about five G? Okay, five G. I'm not I'm not afraid of the radio waves, right? I'm not afraid we're all gonna get microwaved to death or we're gonna get brain cancer. What I'm afraid of with the five G is the Internet of Things, the connectivity and the dependence on the global supply chain that we've seen fail time and time again throughout this coronavirus the coronavirus proves that the internet of things and 5g technology and interconnectedness is not the way we need to go we need to localize and have local internet networks that are connected with communities that we like and that we are a part of and not some big global conglomerate freaking uh you know thing i kind of like that wow yeah okay so if uh, what do you mean the moon's touching the earth you mean like if there's, the, if there's like truman show if there's style only empty space I mean, I think it's like uh, it's right there, like it's a light in the sky. That's what that's what it says in here, dude. See this right here? That's what it says in there, dude. <laughs> it's a lesser light, that's dude. It's one of the luminaries in the sky. What Don't you believe in astrology, dude? Wow, man, Ooh. you're an entertaining guy. I like your style, Tyler. How no, old are you? You know what? I'm 30 years old. Oh, hell yeah, absolutely, looking good. Looking good. You don't look a day over 53. But I 53. just want to say, <laughs> yeah, yeah, 53. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's awesome. What else? I'm interested in this. Give me one more good uh, theory of yours. The moon is a light in the sky, according to the Bible. I remember reading that. I believe it was Corinthians 14.27 that said the moon is a light in the sky. <laughs> was it, Jeremiah? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, looking yeah. at you. Corinthians? Uh, you're quoting a Thin Lizzy lyric right now. <laughs> you have any other good uh, good things that we might find a little bit outside of the mainstream information? Oh, uh, I'm trying to think. 
I'm trying to think of one that won't get me put on a list. Um, let me think. Yeah, don't get our let don't get our YouTube think. flagged. That reminds me, while he's no, thinking, okay. everybody I subscribe. One. I got oh. one for you. This is my all-time favorite conspiracy right here, okay? Yes. Indigo is not a color, okay? I don't care what you say. Indigo is not a color. It was put there by Isaac Newton because he was the one who refracted light through a prism, and he's the one who split up the light spectrum into seven different colors. Even though indigo only takes up 40 nanometers of the light spectrum, all the other colors take up more. Isaac Newton happened to hold stock in the East India Trade Company, which took indigo dye and shipped it all over the place. So he put indigo in the color spectrum as a branding tool to sell indigo dye all around the world. And it's, it, indigo's not a color. It, 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 can, I'll prove it to you right now. Can you describe the color indigo for me, Tony? Yeah, it's like it's like violet, but it's also sort of just uh, a light blue. It's uh, it's it's light blue and dark violet, sort of, right? And it All was right. uh, first Good known it, first known use of indigo a, as a color uh, was in 1289. So it kind of dates your uh, conspiracy there. No, indigo is the name of the plant. Indigo is the name of the plant. And it had a purplish color, yeah, so they decided to brand it as a color and put that hue of violet in there. Okay, I'm going to prove it. Okay, now just you describe the color indigo. Why don't you describe the color yellow? Okay, yellow is, uh, I would say that yellow... Just fucking yellow. It's just fucking yellow. You can't describe it with other colors. That's how you know indigo is not a color. I don't even know what the fuck you said. Well, I mean, I, w I could say that it's like an extremely light It's like a violet orange. blue. It's light it's a, orange. What? Light orange. That's the dumbest shit I've ever heard, Tony. I don't think light that's orange the dumbest shit totally you you've yellow. ever heard. Describe the color black. Yeah, describe the color <laughs> black. Oh, well, David careful. Lucas wants to hear you describe the color black. Yeah, what what does it sound like? <laughs> Do I have your attention? Shit, man, I don't know. Oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> and this is why people don't like that. No, no, no. no. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. What did I do? Uh oh. Black lives matter. Oh shit. You have our attention. Now you have. Asked us to describe a primary color, <laughs> yellow. I ain't never heard no shit like that in my life. I love it. I like this exactly. guy. Exactly. It's not even in a box of crayons, dude. Unless you get sixty-four. So it is. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Tyler, you're just a funny your guy, dude. Box the big crayon box doesn't mean I gotta believe in it. You know what I'm gonna do? <laughs> Since I like you so much, I find you so entertaining, and I think that you'll make the best of it. I'm actually friends with uh, with the family that owns Comedy on State, and I'm gonna put in a good word for you <laughs> when things open back oh, up. Oh boy! You think those bridges That'd are be great? You think those bridges are unburnable? I well, I usually use a nuclear device to blow up my bridges, so I hope so. It, but it, I'm open. Hopefully, I, hopefully, I don't burn my bridges with them by vouching for you. <laughs> but I'm gonna try it anyway. I'm gonna say Tyler Baggins is uh is healthier than he was before. He's had some brain injuries, and he respects the place, right? <laughs> You respect yeah, of course I respect the place. There you go. Then that's They're what the I'll do. the best venue in town. It's the best open mic. It's the best open mic in the country. 300 people every week. It's a great well, it's place. It's just a perfectly and built comedy club is what idiot. it is. Their comedy stage is in the corner facing outward instead of the middle. So instead of having to turn 180 <clears throat> degrees each time to see or, or 40, what would that be? For, nine, for 90, 90 degrees 90. each time to see the people. And have 180s behind you sometimes, they just, you can't fuck it up because you're in the corner. It's how most comedy clubs should be built. The improv in uh, uh, um, the uh, West Palm Beach improv is in the corner. One of the few Hilarities. comedy clubs with a corner stage. Hilarities in yeah. Cleveland, very good. All right, Tyler Baggins, thank you so much. Very, very entertaining, ladies and gentlemen. That's our show. Thank you, guys. Catch them on YouTube, youtube.com backslash Tyler Baggins. And that is tonight's episode. Don't forget, subscribe to our show on YouTube and Spotify, and let's check in with our drawing from Ryan J. Ebelt, everybody. <laughs> hey, you've been flame smoked. Kill Tony, big wow. juicy wieners. That, we got that just on the like camp. David Lucas. 
Oh, I'm not seeing it over there. Try our takeout over at Kill Tony. That is a beautiful... I actually have been uh, smoking some wieners lately in my new uh, Traeger. <laughs> I'm sure you have. I have a new Traeger grill. I got some elk sausages and uh, go over to the farmer's market, get some stuff. Looks like a bunch of Louis J. Gomez's. Yeah, there they are. <laughs> Definitely the band. You even have a, uh, what's that called again? The animal on the hot dog? The cat. It's a... Oh, it's just a cat. Oh, I thought it was one of those uh, oh, things sugar that... Glider. Yeah, sugar glider. Yeah, and you got David Lucas, Michael Lair, and William Montgomery there. Wieners on the bottom. That is just absolutely incredible, Ryan J. An amazing artist. All of his work's available at ryanjbelt.com. You can support a real-life artist. Uh, you know, not a lot of people know this, but his online store was looted last week. So <laughs> he could really use your support. He's the only online store that got looted. Um, speaking of looting, shout out to the great David Lucas for joining us hey, here tonight. I appreciate y'all, man, for having me. It's always fun to hear. David is hilarious every night on Instagram Live. David Lucas is funny. David, David Lucas, Lucas is funny. funny. David Lucas funny, all one word. Anything else you want to plug or promote, David? Uh, on the 22nd, I'm in uh, Lancaster at Big Shots Bar and Grill. And then the 26th and the 27th, I'm at the American Comedy Club in San Diego, June 26th, 27th. Absolutely doodly. Uh, the leader of the band tonight, believe it or not, the great Jeremiah Watkins, everybody. Hello there. Thank you so much, at Jeremiah-Watkins on the old Venmo, youtube.com slash Jeremiah Watkins. If you want to give me a subscribe over there uh, on Jeremiah Wonders this week, I uh, actually had Dr. Phil. He had a big intervention with Darwin, so it's a special episode that we did this week. So please tune in. Video drops on Wednesday. Awesome. How about a big hand for the great Joel Berg? Joel Jimenez was here tonight, everybody, here in the corner. Joel Berg. Boom. Tony, happy birthday. Very happy you were born. You know, without you, I wouldn't have a show to bomb on. And, uh, guys, <laughs> next uh, new episode of Mostly Sorry Podcast coming this week. Hell love you guys. yeah. Jet Ski Jesse Johnson. Uh, at Tempe Improv this Friday. Uh, 10 p.m. with uh, headliner Michael Turner, who was I on the show a couple weeks ago. I love that. I'll be expecting a full report about that. Fun stuff happening. Um... Business is booming over at uh, at uh, the Roastmaster class that I started. We hit our first, I believe, 70 students in one week, which is quite incredible. Before even really showing anybody what we're doing, we got it just by uh, just by getting it out there. And uh, a lot of fun stuff. We've laid down a lot of episodes that we're excited to release. They're all going through an amazing editing process from Gage, who's a tremendous producer and a great help on that. And I'm really proud of the work that we're doing over there. Uh, we're on the road. Texas, Miami, Salt Lake City, Boston, Houston, Dallas, Fort Worth, Salt Lake City, Moon Tower in Austin, Toronto, Bakersfield, Sacramento, San Francisco, D.C., and Tacoma. My website's going through a little makeover right now and is should be relaunched um, by the end of this week. So you're, that's all going to be extremely available for sale. But if you live in any of those cities, you could just Google that city and kill Tony, and that'll pop up. Um, Vito's Pizza is everywhere in Southern California. Caveman Coffee, use the promo code Kill Tony. Buy a candle at damngoodcandleco.com. And uh, Red Band. Uh, check out Virtual Red Band. It's uh, me playing virtual reality with a lot of people, fans of the show and stuff like that. You can go on YouTube.com slash Red Band. Also, tomorrow we have uh, a new episode of uh, Brian Holtzman's podcast. And, then, of course, Brothers in Cursive will be on this week, I think, so also. Uh, go to deskwad.tv. Thanks, guys. And don't forget, send your submission videos to KillTonyQuarantine at gmail.com. Uh, these are the, this is the last few weeks that you people will be able to submit is my prediction. I think we will be getting back to somewhat of our regular format very soon. That's what I'm thinking and hoping. Fingers fucking crossed. Thank you all for joining us. Thank you to everybody. And we'll see you next week with another episode of Kill Tony. <laughs>